our player of the year this year. I'll let Andrew in this video um, <laughs> feel it. <laughs> It's the Academy graduation, so I want to say well done to Troy Savage. I'm delighted uh, that he has received this accolade. I just want to tell a story about Troy. I don't want to embarrass him, but the very first time, well, I'd watched before Troy came into the Academy and we were doing the, the, the selection process for the new cohort. Uh, I'd watched Troy a couple of times, um, really liked him as a player, and I went to watch him at Midsley Park. and. Uh, Castle Juniors' his club at the time were playing Linfield and Castle Juniors lost the game 4-1 but what I've seen from Troy was every single uh, every single thing I was looking for for uh, an academy player. He had firstly a uh, very talented boy technically, you could see that, he was wearing black and white up on the aisles, his range of passing was excellent, he made a tackle that showed me that he was a uh, he, he, he had aggression in him. Most importantly was his um, humility and his uh, body language. Uh, throughout the whole game, obviously Castle were getting beat. He never once dropped the standard. He was quite clearly probably the most profiled player, the best player at Castle, but he respected his teammates, respected his coaches. And I can remember leaving the game, even though they were beat 4-1, uh, and just thinking, we have to get this lad in the academy. And I'm glad he's in the academy. He's been in the academy. He's now received this award. He's signed for his club. And I don't doubt that he'll go on. And if he keeps working hard to have a great thing. So I go, I'm delighted for you, son. Good lad. Uh, well, the JD Academy has made me a better player and a better person. And it's done stuff. Well. But I never thought I could do, to be honest. But uh, if honestly, it was one of the best things I've ever done, like deciding to join the JD Academy. Uh, hopefully, one day I'll just keep building up, and then one day hopefully I can play at Windsor Park. But obviously, that's a long, long way. But if I just keep working hard, and I think that someday it could maybe happen if I keep working hard. <coughs> Well, yeah, that, that means means a lot to me, but also I have to thank all the staff, firstly, as what they've done to me is incredible. They've, they've helped me through so much things, and also the players. Like, If both the staff and players weren't there, I wouldn't have got through the academy, so it means so much to me, and I just want to thank them as well. Well, it just shows you that if you work hard and if you dedicate your life to it, that you can reach the top, and obviously the past winners are showing, showing that it's true. And, that they're doing their bit in England and also if you're doing well you're going to get called up like well the academy it's obviously set me up from living away with my family I know it's not too long but it's still still living away from your family and also it gives you like uh, an intro pretty much of how how the academy works over in England and that the type of train that's going to be the standard so yeah I feel like I'm ready for it. I love the victory seal it was probably one of my best moments in Northern Ireland shirt although we didn't probably didn't get the results I wanted but the performances were very good and also that was captain for the first game against Wales so that meant a lot to me as it's obviously a good thing to be captain for your country at that age and also to share the pitch for your mates so it was, Victory Shield was a very good experience and to top it off of a, getting the cap here tonight means a lot to me. Yeah I'm sad but honestly two time it's the best experience of my life and it's definitely one of the best decisions I could have made choosing to come to the JD Academy.